And enough for those who could not stand up for themselves. Thousands of people abused as children in New York State now have a year-long window to file civil lawsuits against the people who they say harmed them. The Child Victims Act Look Back window began yesterday and already six clergy sex abuse lawsuits have been filed against the Diocese of Syracuse. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla tonight has a message from those representing the victims. These stories are horrendous, horrible, horrible stories. For the first time under the Child Victims Act, survivors have a chance for their truth to be heard and their privacy to be protected. But it's really not about sex. It's about power. It's the power that the trusted authority figure has over the child. Jeff Anderson is representing 22 survivors right now and encouraging those still suffering to come forward and get the hope, help, and healing they deserve. Now gives them the opportunity through their truth and their voice and the law reclaim their power. They were altar boys. They were born and, and grown up in the faith. And part of the faith is the priests, and to them, these were men of God. Across New York State, 262 cases have been filed, six of them right here in Syracuse. There is hope, and there is help, and there is light, and your truth can be heard now, and you can have a voice. These attorneys calling it a shift in power and calling on our community to protect the children of today who will become the adults of our future. In Syracuse, Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. And one of the offenders publicly accused this week is Father Wilhelm Gali, a member of the Diocese of Syracuse. The chapter releasing a statement that reads, in part, the diocese has no prior or current knowledge of any accusation against this priest who died in 1994. The Diocese of Syracuse, with its council, will carefully review all claims and continue to work with individuals who may have been harmed by a member of its diocesan clergy in an effort to bring them hope and healing. Make sure to download the News Channel 9 app. You can read that statement in full and see a breakdown of the cases filed in New York State.